So module 10 focuses on creating tables and forms. And I'd like to just show you how to create a very basic form that maybe you'd want to use for a sign in or sign out. I'm going to choose two topics. One will be a um, real estate company and one will be a computer lab. So the first thing you should do is click insert and either under icons, whatever your topic is going to be, it can be a basketball or soccer sign up um, or baking sign up or um, so the icons are as many to choose from, but I chose from 3D models because those you can adjust as a 3D um, dimension. So the first one that I did, I'll share with you, was for a real estate company. So let me just choose 100%. So I, I did one picture. This is the 3D effect where you can change the rotation of it. And then I made a copy of it and put it on the other side. Comfy Home Realty, I put in word art. And then I created column titles. And then um, I kept increasing the rows until, uh, as long as it fits on one page. So this is in landscape. And then the next one I'm going to do is in portrait. So you can create one in landscape or just in portrait. So the next one I chose um, computer lab. And this is a, the word art. And then I did two pictures again. They're in 3D effects, so you can adjust them. And I made a copy of it and put one on the other side. So in order to get the table, insert table, what you need to know is how many columns. So I'm going to go with four. And it doesn't matter how many rows, because we can adjust that later. So um, go ahead and type your column titles first. Once you have your column titles, you can change the font. You can make it larger. I put them in center. So now we need to increase um, how many rows that will fit on this um, sheet. So we'll click the um, table button, and it selects all the table. So before I decide on how many rows I will have, I want to make them a little bit larger, because right now they're very narrow. So I'm going to make them a little larger. Once I, I'm confident with the size, I can go to the end of one, the last one, and just press tab, and I can keep um, inserting them. Or if I select four of them and click insert below, I'll get four more. And I can do it again, but I'm going to get eight more because eight of them are selected. So maybe I'll just do five more and insert below. I just want to make sure I don't go on to another page. So if you want to get fancy with the borders, click the um, select all table, go to design, borders, and borders and, and shading. So this is not, um, if you notice it's border, where this is a page border, I'll show you the difference right now. So right now we're in borders, and I'm going to choose grid. So the grid means I'm going to do the outside and leave the inside um, just a single line. So you can go and choose a style. You can choose a color of it. I think I went with green. And then you can choose a thickness. So notice that the inside stays plain. Otherwise, it'd be too busy on the eye. So that's the border of the table. If I click this page border and then go to art, this is going to take care of the border around the edge of the page. So I'll go with um, globe. So I have page border, and then you notice the border of the table itself. So if I go back to view one page, so this is in portrait, and the real estate one is in landscape. So I just wanted to share with you how you could create um, your own um, sign-up sheet if you'd like. So you can, for this assignment, just pick one, whether it's in portrait or landscape, and uh, save and submit. Thank you.